Okay. This is for you, NTA. Oh, NTA. <laughs> that thing's going to burn a long time. <laughs> <laughs> It sure got hot real quick. Yeah, look how it just went up. All them parts are when that seat's coming out now. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> what did NT8 do on that seat? <laughs> <coughs> so is that what real jism smells like burning? <laughs> <laughs> and the goat goes, down. <laughs> Stories. stories <laughs> and now it's time for stories with John. Come on, Uncle John, tell us a story. <laughs> no, when I was driving, it was 16, every, then there was 8-track tapes. So I'd always ordered good 8-track tapes at the time that I wanted. And one of the ones I wanted that came out back then was uh, Deep Purple Machine Head. About Bob Burrier, he kept listening, and he never had no money. So when they, he'd, he'd take his dad's <coughs> car and had put an eight track in it and go out and just sit in his dad's car and listen to tapes. So he wanted that machine head so bad that one day we was out, went somewhere, we come back home, and the next day I go over to his place and he says, look at this new tape I got. And he had taken my machine head, ripped the paper off of it, and wrote on it with a ma magic marker and trying to tell me that he bought this at a store and it's his new tape and it came that way and that's the way i said bob you ripped the label off of it and wrote on it you can tell no that's the way they come out now it's a new version and he was this is you know serious as he could be and stole your tape and i went back to my car later and looked in there it's gone but he had it he stole it i thought what a thief <laughs> yeah, but what's her name? Uh, Lila or whatever her name was. Leela. Every time he played that tape, she called the cops. Yeah. She called the sheriff. Yeah. Remember that? Yep. So it got him in plenty of trouble <laughs> in the end. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Tuesday. Be July the 22nd, Sunday, like always, put in for my unemployment. Last week, you know, they said that was an end year thing, so I have to have a waiting week. So it's like, okay, that's the second waiting week this year. So I get up Monday, after I got home, I guess, because I was, we was finishing up one of the meetups. Everyone left, so Keith ran home to get his yard mowed and stuff. And I came home, and and that's what I'm doing now. Is I'm tearing tearing this thing down. I think it's done for the year. The kids' daughters all came, visited, and stuff. So I think I'll take that thing down. But I'm kind of waiting for the top of it to dry off a little bit and finish it, and then I can get mowing my yard. But. Uh, no, I checked this morning. There's nothing, no unemployment, nothing going on again. So I called them, find out what's going on. So they're blaming it on the uh, last place I worked, Legacy. Said Legacy won't answer their letters, so they don't know if I work there or not. You know, I can't take my word for it. <coughs> so, uh,. This will be week three now, no unemployment check. And I've got uh, bills that should have been the earliest one. Should have been paid on the 2nd of July. But when you're not getting no money, it's hard to pay your bills. And I've got several of them now as of today. Several more that will be now late because of stupid unemployment. Because they just can't get their crap together and get you your money but oh well just thought I'd let you know what I was doing today and but I'm letting that 
rough of this here thing dry out a little bit and then I'll take it off fold it up put it away and put the legs and stuff away so that's what I'm doing today and mow the yard stuff like that so that'll be a little bit of my video for today so we'll catch y'all later okay bye